Now we turn to the frantic search for a missing New York teen. The last time anyone heard from Brittany Drexel was on Saturday night when she sent a text message to one of her friends. Without getting permission from her mother, 17-year-old Brittany Drexel left Rochester, New York for a spring break trip to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. She was last spotted here at the Bar Harbor Hotel Saturday night. Her whereabouts since are unknown. Family and friends traveled to Myrtle Beach in hopes of tracking down the high school junior. It's been horrible because I don't know where she is. I don't know if she's alive. She left um, all her clothing, um, her hair stuff, everything. It's just not like Brittany. Something's wrong. Brittany has a history of depression, which has her father especially worried. She just had emotional issues, a very, very stressful emotional issues. She needed a break from all the drama that was going on here. Police have now identified Peter Broswick, the last known person with her, as a person of interest in the disappearance. And joining us now from Florence, South Carolina, is Brittany's mother, Dawn. Good morning. Thanks for taking the time to speak with us. Good morning. How are the local authorities treating this case? Are they treating it as a, as a missing person? They are treating it as a missing person, yes. The, the police department here has been wonderful. Um, they've given me their self, personal cell phone numbers. Um, I have access to them at any time of the day. Um, they've just been great. What do you know about this Peter Broswick, this person they say is a person of, of interest? And is this somebody that your daughter knows? This is somebody that my daughter knows. She's known him, um, I believe, for a few years, maybe longer. Um, I've heard his name. I believe I met him maybe once. Mm -hmm. What's, what, is, mm -hmm. what, what is the police department's concern about this young man? They didn't really say too much. Um, in reference to him. Mm -hmm. So I really can't answer that. Yeah. We showed in the piece your, uh, uh, her, the, your daughter's father said that she had concerns about him, uh, excuse me, about your daughter and about her uh, sort of psychological stability. Is there a possible possibility her, here that uh, she just ran away? No, I don't believe she just ran away. And she was going through a lot because my, my um, soon-to-be ex-husband, I mean, we're going through a divorce. So this has been very hard on her. All right, well, Dawn, we thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us, and we hope that uh, just broadcasting this story will help uh, people who may have seen her uh, contact police and uh, let's get a, a, a good outcome to this story. Thanks for taking the time to speak with us. You're welcome. All right, be well.